In this video, I am going to take a closer look at fully fashioned, seamed nylon stockings. So stay tuned. The welt is knitted first on the machines and is a double layer of nylon. This is the part of the stocking where the suspenders are attached and needs to be more robust than the rest of the stocking. Genuine vintage stockings frequently have writing printed on the welts, which adds that extra touch of authenticity. And the stockings should be worn with the writing on the outside of each thigh. The shadow welt. This is a single thickness of welt. A lighter transitional area between the darker welt and the single layer of nylon found in the rest of the stocking. This is also known as the underwelt. The keyhole is a decorative byproduct of the manufacturing process and a distinctive feature of fully fashioned stockings. Compression stitching is a line of needle marks equidistant of each side of the seam, formed during the seaming process. The seam binds the stocking together. Fully fashioned stockings can be easily distinguished from modern seam stockings by examination of the seam. If it appears to have been printed on or sewn on unnecessarily, it is just a decorative seam and not truly fully fashioned. This is the Cuban heel, a fairly high, vertical and rectangular shaped reinforced heel in a contrasting color to the rest of the stocking. Other heel styles include the Havana, the Point and the Manhattan. A stocking in 10 to 20 denier has transparency aspects, while a stocking knitted with a higher denier of 20 or more will be less sheer and usually more durable. Stockings of 40 denier and above are opaque. The sheerest practical denier is 7 denier, which is so wispy sheer that it literally disappears on the leg while the most popular is still 15 denier, which gives a compromise between lightness and durability. When thrown in the air, a 7 denier stocking will gently glide down to earth like a feather. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.